Oh, wait a second, wait a second. We need this. We need this, we need this, we need this. What about now? Can you guys hear me now? That should solve it, right? Can you guys on Instagram hear me now? Perfect. We, we're, we're live on Instagram. We're live on Facebook. So yeah, let's get started. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, fire them off and I will answer them as they come in. But then I also have uh, a couple announcements that I would like to share. Um, number one, there is a massive giveaway being held right now on all social media platforms for anybody that wants to enter them. Every single day I'm giving away something awesome. I've given out a copy of the Mindset ebook. I've given out a bunch of Skype calls. I gave out a breakout session that's you know on text game mastery. Um, so I appreciate everybody that's been uh, tuning in and also been entering to win. And if you haven't won anything yet, just know that every single day up until the 31st, I will be giving away something. So keep entering, keep trying. The more you like, the more you comment, the more you engage, the more you share, the higher your chances are of winning. Um, every single day I pick somebody and then I announce it here and then I get in touch with them after all of this is done and we start scheduling things for next year. So if you want to ever get on something for free, this is probably the only chance that you will get to be able to do that. Um, I don't do sales, I don't do discounts, and I definitely don't give a ton away for free because I do believe in no investment, no commitment, but it's the end of the year, so to give some guys out in the world the opportunity to get some Colgate material and lessons in front of them without having to go through crazy um, conversions of money to you know put money aside, all that stuff, this is the chance that they get. So if uh, you guys wanna enter, Every single day, look at my Facebook stories, look at my Instagram stories, look at the posts, and follow the directions on there, and hopefully you guys will win something. All right? Let's see here. Let's start off with questions. <laughs> you should check out my band, Dead Steady. Send me a link. I'll check it out if it's good. Will you be giving the mindset again? Um, <laughs> I would say tune in to find out. But yeah, I'm going to be giving away a couple more of my mindset ebooks uh, for sure. Absolutely. So I don't know when. Um, I don't have my uh, calendar in front of me as we speak. However, I will be giving a few more copies away of the mindset. So definitely check in for that. Today's prize um, that you can enter so that tomorrow the winner will be announced is a um, it's access to my uh, phone service, my Colgate Concierge phone service. And what that is is a 24 hour, seven days a week. You have my cell phone number. You can text me any questions you want at any time. Um, if you're in field or if something happens, you're, you know, you just closed a uh, number, number closed a girl. Where do you go from there? You're about to go on a date. You don't know what conversations you should bring with you. Text me. I'll be right there to answer, uh, your questions so that you feel fully prepared for what's coming next. And then, Hey, if you're in field and shit's going good or bad, you can always get in touch to see what, what I would do in the current situation that you're in. So the phone service, I actually give the guys that are on my Skype mentorship program. They have that automatically, but for guys that aren't on my Skype program, that here's a chance to do it. It's a $39.99 a month uh, subscription service. But if you guys enter today and simply just share the post, which is the only hoop you guys have to jump through, you could win that for a month. So let me know if you guys are interested in that and we can push it forward. Let's see here. No, don't link me on here. Link me outside of this. I'm not gonna click now and check your music. Let's see here. 
Hi from the Dominican Republic. What is the dominoes effect? I don't know. No idea. Um, I want to enter that contest, but I've been a day one. Yes, you have, man. You really have. You've been a day one for sure. Um, keep entering. Keep entering, and I'm sure something will, will present itself. Just like, uh, remember when you were like, how do I meet mystery? How do I meet mystery? And I was like, ah, just let the universe present itself. Or if you want to guarantee it, get on a boot camp. And you said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll let the universe present. And what happened? The universe presented. You got to meet mystery while you were out one night gaming. So same thing. If you want to guarantee that you get something, buy it. If not, keep entering. Let the universe present. And as long as you put out some good vibes, I'm sure it comes back to you. What's up, Colgate? What's up, Eric Magician? Hope all is well. What are some good stimulators for two set other than best friends uh pvc devil pvc devil works great uh that's one of my favorite for a two set um especially i mean considering that it's two girls i wouldn't do pvc devil on a two set that's mixed uh that would be kind of weird uh unless you're into that kind of thing no judgment <laughs> um but yeah i would go with uh pvc devil um PVC Devil for me is just one of those big playful uh, stimulators that just gets pumps a lot of fun and a lot of energy into sets. I don't think that you should say it like it's been said to be said um, in the past where, you know, you have a girl on one arm, another girl on another arm, all that kind of shit. Just because the climate has changed and if you start thinking that you're Duan, uh, Don Juan out there, girls will check you on that. They're not going to think you're cool. They're going to think that you're some guy trying to look cool. So... What I like to do is to say, you know what I'd do with you? I would love to dress you up in a nice fluffy white outfit with some wings and a halo and a harp. You know what a harp is? Like the little pianos? Oh yeah, totally you. And then you. What I'd do to you is I'd put you in a PVC latex dress with like a pitchfork and some tail and the horns and do the whole thing. And all we would do is just walk around town and just imagine how that would look to everybody around us where we got to decide dinner. We got to decide what movie to watch. And I just get to go, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? And then we make a decision. I think that would be kick ass. Boom. Stimulator done. Let's see here. How long does it take to be proficient in attraction? Why is it so hard? It's so hard because so many guys come with so much bad behavior into it. Like I always tell guys at boot camps, um, if I could teach you nothing, if I could teach you nothing awesome that's really fucking laser focused, powerful to hit, I would simply just snap my fingers and take out all the bad behavior you're doing. And guess what? You're going to get results from that. Bad behavior is what's keeping you from getting the results you want right now. So to remove all the bad behavior takes a while, depending on how deep you are coming into this with those solidified behaviors. I would say the more time you wait, the more time you go out, try to practice, and it's not the right practice, it's not perfect practice, you're fucking yourself up because... As more time goes on, you're solidifying those bad behaviors. And then eventually you get to a point where you come see me and it's like, fuck, man, in a weekend, we have to just worry about bad behavior. So that's why it takes so long. Most guys don't have the right approach. They don't consider uh, the five keys that it takes to get good at game. The five keys are something that mystery conceptualized and uh, got you know down on paper so that it's easier to relay the message of what it takes to be good. Now, the five keys are, are very simple. Number one, it's structure. This you get from reading the books, you get from you know looking at diagrams and reading theory and all this stuff, and that's awesome, that's a great start, but most guys get lost in the theory. They just wanna keep absorbing theory, absorbing knowledge, absorbing this, absorbing that, and eventually what most likely happens is they get analysis, uh, they get paralysis by analysis where it's so much information, they just don't know what to do and how to practically apply it. So number one is uh, the structure. Number two is the material to fill in the structure. You need some routines to get you going. 
it helps when you know what to say for you to feel confident in going into the set and opening them by sticking to the three second rule and then knowing where to go from each conversational uh, each conversational point so that it just helps you and your confidence and it also helps the, the set move along. Um, three is the delivery to make that material come alive. If you're just going out and you're being conversational, it's just not as impactful. Number four is the volume and velocity. That's you going out, doing a number of sets in a night to get the skills, not get the girls. Most guys make it about the girls. You have to make it about the skills. You have to make it about the phases. You have to make it about your progression in this because if you make it about the girls, you're gonna fail hard. So volume and velocity. That also means that you're not opening 10 sets in a week. You're opening 10 sets in a night, three times a week. You can open 100 sets in a month and think you're doing well, but the guy that opens 100 sets in two weeks is gonna do is gonna learn a lot more than you in a month. The guy that opens 100 sets in a year is gonna learn a lot less than the guy that does it in a month. So volume and velocity. For now, skills. I don't mean volume and velocity as in you go out and you knock on a hundred fucking doors and you see which one opens when it comes to girls. It's about skills. We have to get the skills so that you can then get some girls in your life and ultimately keep them in your life. Because even if, dude, if I brought my fucking best girls to any one of you guys and your skill isn't there, I could AI you, I could build you up, I could social proof you, do everything on my end. And guess what? You may even start a relationship with one of the girls, but eventually you'll lose her because you just don't have the character traits or the skills right now to obtain and keep those quality of girls that, uh, you know, the masters do. So that would be um, the fourth component. And then the last one is the instant coach feedback. That happens usually from boot camps. If you go on boot camps, I can look at you and see this is what's wrong. Let me save you years and years and years of you trying to figure this out with whatever mindset you're coming into it with and not being able to do it. And I can solve that in a weekend for you. So the instant coach feedback being the fifth element is what uh, keeps guys from really excelling and getting that learning curve to spike up. It's getting hot. I've been drinking wine. Whew. Let's take this off getting hot let's take this off let's get let's get into it all right let's see here mm, what's good gents hey jason what's up man jason mckenzie was one of my uh first students after i left 3sr um in fact it was it was a half 3sr half ask Colgate Bootcamp because of some issues, but Jason got to experience what it is to be on a Colgate Bootcamp when Colgate is free and he can teach whatever the fuck he wants and he can give guys ultimate value without having to upsell them on shit and get them on other boot camps and try to get them on coach development packages and all this nonsense. He got to see exactly what happens when you get out in the field with a competent coach that can assist your journey and has your best interest at heart. So if you guys have any questions on how boot camps go, read Jason's review on my website, read Jason's review on my Instagram, read Jason's review, ask me for it, I'll send it to you, it's awesome. Jason, let me know in the comments how it's been uh, since the boot camp. I, I mean, we've talked before and I know that you're killing it out there. Helped a ton, still crushing it. Yeah, that's what happens, man. So I, it's, it's, a, it's, it's definitely worth it for sure, awesome. We had a good time. We had a good time. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was Jason, Dante, uh, Cowboy, um, and Danny. So yeah, we had a kick-ass night. It was a kick-ass program. Um, I remember we were playing losing. We were losing uh, in one of the uh, venues in New York at the Beer Garden. So yeah, it was a kick-ass night. It was a, it was a memorable boot camp for me for sure. Let's see here. Five kills in the last four months. There you go. Awesome stuff. Let's see here. Let's see what we got here on the on the Instagram. There's this girl who I like, but I want to know what she thinks of me, and I want to ask her subtle. Are, is that a statement, or are you asking a question? That sounds like a statement. Man, you make this shit look so easy. Practice, Spencer. Practice, man. It's just what it is. I run routines constantly. I, they're, 
I, I'm staying with a relative here in London and she has a nanny who cooks, cleans and does things for her. And I know a boot camp is coming up this weekend for me. So I have some routines that needed polishing um, and to build momentum with. So I started running some stuff on her today and that's how I do it. I don't miss any opportunity with anyone to get material out and get myself conditioned to the point where it's unconscious, it just comes out. I can go from zero to hero with the routines um, co consistently. That's one of the things that all the top PUAs I've ever met, they're like, wow, man, for real, like that's one thing you got locked down. You can just, when you get into a routine, it doesn't, it's, it's seamless. That's what the word is, it's seamless. It doesn't even seem like you're getting into the, the routine. You just do it. So, yeah, man, it comes with practice. You, I can tell you right now, I've opened fuck loads of sets to be able to do that. And you can't shortcut it. So, get out there, open some sets. Don't ask, don't, here's, here's the thing for T-H-E-E, -E, zero. <laughs> don't ask questions. Make statements. Instead of saying, hey, how do you feel about me? Say, oh, you like me and see what she says. That's a better approach. If you ask her how she, you know, what do you feel about me? That's, that's, that's uh, AFC behavior. That's something that every guy is doing. So don't do what every guy is doing and you're already putting yourself in a good position. That's just a little bit of insight for that. If you could go back in time to when you started your journey with women, what would you do differently knowing what you know now. What I would do different? Fuck, man. I would do a shit ton of stuff different. I would have kept myself accountable instead of just going out and just trying to, you know, dibble dabble and, you know, get my feet wet with this stuff. I would have legit committed fully to a system instead of, you know, picking what I like. Cause I did that. I picked stuff that I like from Love Drop. I picked stuff that I like from Mystery, stuff that I like from Matador. I put it all together into this game and I was just fucking, you know, hit or miss with a lot of it, you know, just bashing my head. Yes, getting some results because I internalized it. I practiced a lot more than most guys do. So yes, I was getting results, but it wasn't until I was like, you know what, let me hold myself accountable and actually keep track of my progression and see what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. I realized that quickly, very quickly in my game, I was never number closing because I just didn't care to. It was just like I was happy being in the set and getting results and getting makeouts and doing all this stuff and getting girls to chase and doing all this shit, but I never got the number. So it was giving my game a vibe of like a player vibe and all this shit, which is not necessarily me. So I quickly identified all the errors by keeping myself accountable. If you don't keep metrics, just like going to the gym, man, if you're just going in and lifting weights, yeah, you can get better, you can get skinnier, you can get, you know, bigger, you can get stronger, but for you to keep track of your weights, keep track of how many reps, keep track of everything that you're doing, you know, your rest time, the more information you keep on yourself, the better that you'll be at tracking what needs to get done, what you don't have to focus on anymore and doing all that. Um, I, I would say that that was, that would be the, the major thing that I would go back and tell myself to do. And that's what I try to tell guys to do now. In fact, anybody that's on my Skype programs, boot camps, any, anything you do with me, I, I keep a file for every student I, I have. And every time you guys send me something, every time they send me, uh, information about how nights went, you know, shit that happened, I will always log it into their files because every time before a Skype call, I make sure I look at that. As I prepare my lessons for them, I look at that. When we're about to meet again for a boot camp, I look at that. That way, every person gets a specialized game plan for what, they, for what they're doing and where they're at. And it's not just, you know, a cookie cutter fucking program for every single person. You know how many companies do that where if you guys do a boot camp today, two months from now, a year from now, five years from now, you're going to get the same fucking boot camp every single goddamn time. All of them. So I like to take a different approach. My shit is more bespoke and a little bit more, you know, carefully uh, curated for the guy to get better results. Um, I think in two, two years, two and a half years, if we're working together on this level and you're still struggling, someone didn't do their job and I'm going to make sure that it's not me. So that's, that's what I would say. How can you open a woman that is walking in front of me at a relatively faster pace? Okay, so objects and motions will stay in motion. We know that from Mystery Method. Uh, what I like to do now is I do a throw and go. So instead of waiting, what most guys do, imagine we're looking at it, you know, she's coming this way, right? Or she's coming in front of me, but let's look at it this way, right? If the girl is coming this way, right? Most guys, what they do is they wait till she gets about 
to his side in order for him to open. What you should do is if she's coming in front of you is you should throw it while she's five, six feet away. That way by the time she, she hears the opener, processes it, and whether she says what or whether she answers, she's at the point where she's side by side. If you wait to start talking while she's side by side, by the time you finish your opener, she's taken three steps uh, behind you. So now you're forced to have to turn around to engage. So don't do that. So throw and go, make sure it hits before she's uh, even close to you. What do you think about RSD? Oh my God, I get asked that all the fucking time. I don't have an issue with anybody in this industry. I don't really bother to care. In fact, I've, I've bought a lot of RSD products just to, I don't think I'm above this shit, man. I don't ever think I'm like, oh, I'm better than them. Oh, I'm better than this guy. I don't better than this. I don't look at it that way. For you to think that you're better than people or for you to think that you have all the knowledge, it's a limiting uh, way of looking at it and a limited way of approaching it because see, the enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. So if you're constantly thinking that you're better than people, if you're constantly thinking that you're there, you're limiting what you can learn. So I buy RSD products. I go through them. I, I try, man. I try to sit there as a student in your guy's position to say what is useful in this product based on my understanding. And I take notes. Anything that is useful that they've done, you know, I, I can I can say, yeah, I, I agree with that. Anything that's not, I disagree and we keep it moving. But I don't have an issue with RSD, what they do. They have a very particular marketing strategy and target demographic, which I think I separate myself from entirely. But with all that said, no issues, no hard feelings, no bad feelings, no nothing like that. Let's see here. Good vibe, Colgate. Thank you. How can I open women that's walking by? Ready to answer that one. Let's see here. I'm here representing the people of Brazil. Um, eh, I guess by default I am too because I was born there. But, ugh. <laughs> um, what if she's walking the same direction but a little faster? You mean like behind you? Same thing, over the shoulder. That should be a standard. It should just be over the shoulder before she makes her way in front of you. You don't want to make, you don't want to let her pass in front of you because then you're the guy behind her and that's a sketchy situation to be in. So say it, make sure that you do it over the shoulder. You can always turn back instead of making her turn back. You guys like the new hat? Yellow hat? We went from, we went from, from black to gray to red to like baby pink, light pink. Now I got a blue one and I got a yellow one. Hats. It's so funny. I wear these fucking hats and I get compliments all the time. It's like, oh, dude, I love your hat. Oh, my God, your hat is awesome. My default autoresponder, my, my soundbite is you have great taste in hats. But it's just a fucking hat. So, yeah, the hats, the hats seem to, to play a role in field. In fact, we were in Toronto uh, a few months back on a boot camp and we did a hire guns night where we do the higher guns seminar with you know higher guns models strippers exotic dancers and then we went out to venues that had exotic dancers and also had some strippers and we uh <laughs> we rocked the night but it, when i walked in as soon as i walked in with a false ioi the stripper came up to me and said oh i love your hat and i said you have great taste in hats i'm gonna go grab a seat over there i'm not even in this headspace and I sat down and then within 15 minutes, we had four girls in us. They had shut down the dynamic of the working girl aspect and we were just hanging out, shooting the shit. It was pretty cool. Can I ask you something? Don't ask to ask, just ask. If you have to ask to ask, that's low value male behavior. So don't do that, just ask. Let's see here. How do you convert makeouts into day twos? That's my sticking point right now. What a great sticking point to have, huh? Um, play the game solid, man. Slow it down. If you slow it down, they'll speed it up, right? If you don't want anything from anyone, they're willing to give you more. So 
if I slow down the makeouts, if I slow down the kino, if I slow down everything, right? She'll want to do more. If I don't ask for a number, but I play tight games, she will give me her number. If I don't say, hey, we should hang out sometime, and I play solid games, she'll want to hang out sometime, and she'll say, hey, we should hang out sometime. So just slow it down. Worry about slowing it down, because I can imagine, based on how I know you and your game, respectfully, it's very fast and very uh, fast paced. So take it slow. Things will pan out better. I work sales part time. Game works there too. Highly applicable. Fuck yeah. Work game works in every aspect, man. You know how many layers of, of shit has overlapped to this for me in my life? I launched a goddamn music career off of game. Just being able to go in and take the meetings and be able to make shit happen based on winning people over. Am I the best musician in the world? Absolutely not, not by a long shot. But I was able to get my foot in and achieve a, a, a level of success that takes people a decade to do in a year because I was able to navigate within the landscape with some tight game to win people over. It's not just about the girls. Once you make it about everything else, you'll get more girls and things will look better. You know, guys are always telling me, oh man, your, your ebook, it's $200, it's so expensive. I, I don't say it, but honestly, I wanna say sometimes, what is it that's going on in your life that you can't afford $200 to self-improve on yourself? That's a question to be asked. And honestly, it most likely comes down to the lack of relationship and communication skills that you have. That's what people at the top share, man. That's what they have in common is that they're good at communication. They're good at effectively getting their vision out and people can assist. So consider that um, the next time that, you know, you want to write me a, a, a message when I think I give back so much that, you know, it's unfair that I make things so expensive and blah, blah, blah. I just know my value, man. I assess based on where I've worked, what companies I've worked for, who I've, who I've worked with. And I allocate my, my price based on that. If I'm doing things that I feel are better and that are tighter and that get guys real results and I see my students getting girls in their life that are more impressive than the, the next guy, I'm going to charge more than the next guy. That's just what I do because I know that I can deliver on my end. I have, I have no problems with, with giving people full refunds. I've never had an issue with, with anybody asking me for a refund personally. So I, if, if that was the case, I don't mind ever giving anybody a refund. I think any guy that has worked with me will say that it's worth it times 10 what they get for what they pay for. However, I do need to see some investment from somebody in order for me to fully give myself because I've done free boot camps. I've emailed free ebooks. I've done all that. And guess what? You ask a guy for a review after a free ebook, he doesn't write you one. He doesn't give a shit. He hasn't even read the goddamn book. It sits in his email for another two weeks as opposed to the guy that has to save up a little money, a guy that has to consider, fuck, all right, I'm gonna put some money into this. He's more willing to go out and practice. So that's just how I do things, man. I'm not out here to capture the masses and get 300 seats filled on my boot camps. You know, my shit is very personal. It's very intimate. It's, it's a coaching experience. It's not a motivation experience where everybody gets packed in and by the end of it, I don't even know your name. Just a little different, different approach. Going out so often is definitely complicated if you have a 45 minute commute. Um, yeah, go out less often. Make sure the night is better than when you go out often, right? If I, some guys live in, sh in, in cities that are far from anything, they're far from civilization. So if you're gonna go out once a month, make sure you make it a kick ass night and start early and get a lot of practice in and then go back to your calm, quiet life. Um, yeah, so, uh, that would, well, that's what I would say to that. Uh, if it's 45 minutes, you know, that's all you can do. You can either go out less and make it easier on yourself, but by making it a better night, so you get more learning points or move. If that's that, if it's 45 minutes is killing you, you got to move. Let's see here. Keep track is super key. I didn't start. Uh, I didn't start stop and continue after the first boot camp and been tracking since second boot camp. Again, Sam, the long the long messages I can't see here, so it doesn't help when you write long. I I'd rather you write sentence by sentence by sentence, cause then I can read them. Otherwise, it just gets lost. 
I'm at 293 sets and I know where my exact sticking point is. Yeah, man, 293 sets is a good amount of sets. You're on your way there. You need a thousand. A thousand and things start to click a lot easier. It's a different landscape. Hey, bud, what's your view on learning female nature and red pill philosophy while learning game? Dude, don't know anything about red pill, blue pill nonsense. That's all like bitter guy online talk. I don't get involved with any of that shit, to be honest. That's just that's just me. I don't I can't comment on any of that. Um, so sorry. Uh, let's see here. I prefer this one. My game is monotone and lack enthusiasm. No, no, it's not. Free market. The price is the happy medium. True. I have an hour and a half commute. Yeah, that's true. That's true. My man's got fucking an hour and a half commute and he gets it done. He comes all the way from uh, from some part of California that is not L.A., and he drives down, whether to attend a boot camp or whether to go out on the weekend, he'll come down, he'll make the effort, and he'll make sure that he holds himself accountable to make that effort count. So yeah, good stuff. This stuff is high level. Yes, it is, agreed. Let's see here. What is a good answer if a woman is testing you and asking you about how many partners you've had and also if you just want sex? If she's asking you that, that means you're coming off like you just want sex because there's no reason why she would ask that um, otherwise, um, other than that reason. A girl that wants to have sex with you, she's not going to ask you that like that, you know? So I wouldn't, I would worry about what am I doing in my behavior that's eliciting those kind of questions to be asked at all. Um, to answer the first part of your question is what if she's doing to test you, uh, by asking you how many partners you had. See, most guys think that they should lie. They should say, oh, I don't, I don't have, you know, I don't have a lot of partners. Some guys think that they should lie and say, I have a lot of partners. I don't think you should lie at all. Be honest, tell them what the fuck it is because all that stuff comes out. If you say I've had a thousand girlfriends, but you're behaving like you've never had any, it doesn't matter if the reality is, is, is true or not. It, you're behaving like you didn't so be honest be straightforward don't cheat girls into getting them into bed because your cards will be revealed very quickly by the quality girls and then you're fucked so uh i don't like to take the frame of i'm apologetic for having girls in my life in fact i think every girl i've ever had in my life has assisted in how i think now and how i process now and what i what i look for in people and what I don't look for in people and every girl that I've been with has assisted in that so I don't apologize for it I am who I am because partly because of the experiences that I've had and those experiences on a pie chart a fraction of it has to do with girls right so yeah don't don't mask it don't bullshit don't be that guy just tell them straight up you know yeah I've I've had like five girlfriends serious ones you know, I've dated around, but I've had five serious girlfriends, which is not my case, but that could be a, a default autoresponder for someone else. Let's see here. Yeah, Palmdale. That's what it was. Palmdale. That's what it is. Awesome. Let's see here. Hey, Colgate, do you have a day game or text game section in your ebook? No, the ebook is just on the mindset. See, the mindset to me is so important because the mindset that you adapt actually formulates how you interpret game, how you interpret the material, how you interpret the reactions, how you interpret your reactions. The mindset is so important to keep in mind um, just because if I just give you a bunch of routines and you don't know how to put it all together or if you look online and you're trying to find routines, there are thousands of routines. Which one work better? Which ones work, you know? less than the other ones well it depends on what mindset you're coming into it with what you're trying to accomplish but all that needs to get figured out before you really get good at this shit so to me um the mindset isn't the first thing that people should establish um before they really dive e uh, dive deep into game then you get into the structure the material the components and all that stuff and then we're talking about inner game and back to the mindset and all that kind of stuff so that would be my my uh answer to that day game and text game are completely different things most guys think that oh i just want to learn text game oh i just want to learn day game it's like no dude you learn game and then you start to specify on certain areas how am i going to teach you hired guns if you don't know basic game 
which by the way, the next uh, ebook slash product video series will be called The Basics. So it should handle all of that. You get the mindset, the basics, you're, you're, you're on your way. So be on the lookout for that, not anytime soon, because I've just literally started working on it, but it's in development. So I got your back and it's not, I'm gonna make it super affordable for everybody so that you guys can actually start getting some practice without having to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on boot camps and things like that. But I'll be honest, man, for the amount that I feel like I'm giving people, I don't feel like people engage enough. That's, that's straight up. I look around and I see people, you know, they come in, they take my, my sound bites. I, I see them posted on other websites and, and other forums and things like that with no credit to me, no credit to anyone else that has helped assist the, the, the theories that we teach. So you guys need to do your part as well. And it will make, it'll make me feel better about doing my part. But if you want to learn the day game stuff, the text game stuff, those are all breakout sessions that I teach. So go on my website, askcolgate.com, look at programs and experiences, look at coaching and see what best fits the timeline that you have. And then also what kind of uh, desires you have and what areas you want to dive deep into and then book a session. Let's talk and I can solve that for sure. Day game, easy. Text game, even easier than that because um, text game is just very, very basically at its fundamental, you just, again, not doing what every other fucking guy is doing. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question, Spence. And what does she ask for job info? Where do you work? What do you do? Have autoresponders. Don't be the guy that's like, oh, where do I work? I work at the bank. Oh, I'm an accountant, you know? Nothing wrong with working at the bank and an accountant, but have a response that elicits emotions first before you get into where you work. You know, if someone says, oh, what do you do? Well, you know, I drink, I smoke, I contribute fuck all to society, but I started recycling. That's been big this year. No, no, no. What do I do? I work at the bank, blah, blah, blah. You know, at least it's fucking funny and it stimulates and it's the first level basic way for you to answer these questions. There are different levels and definitely better answers as you get deeper in it. But for right now on here with the time we have, that's what I recommend you doing. Having these uh, responses ready to go so that Look, you're going to be asked this for your whole life. You know, this is what people do. When girls like us, they ask us the same questions that we always ask them. In fact, a lot of their behavior when you're a high value guy is a lot of AFC behavior that we do when we're not coming from a place of high value. So what do you do? What's your name? Where are you from? Those three questions have to get solved as far as what answers you have lined up to tackle that, that situation. Here in Japan, they ask because jobs matter. Jobs matter in general. Jobs matter until they don't. That's what it is. Jobs matter. Everything matters until it doesn't. You know, a girl can think that a job, you know, someone's job matters, how they look matters, you know, what they drive matters, all that shit until it doesn't. Once you hit emotionally, you can get by it. That's why, you know, I was young and dating girls that were at the time I know out of my league and I humbly say that because I, I know that they were girls I didn't necessarily deserve at the time for what I what I was getting but I never feared that like oh she's gonna go off and you know go meet some guy at a yacht party that she got invited to and you know start a relationship with him instead of me because I knew on an emotional level I've always hit I know so many PUAs, master PUAs that emotionally just aren't aligned with where they should be at based on their skills. And the girls suffer from that. The girls look out. They're always they're, a girl that is not emotionally uh, kept in the guy's uh, essence. She's free for everyone else to be able to come in and take her away from that guy. In fact, if you're not giving people the incentive to stay in your life, you're ultimately giving them the incentive to leave. So handle people emotionally, respect their emotions, give them the time of day to infiltrate you as much as you infiltrate them. And then you'll build a stronger connection that will withstand any dilemmas or dramas that come along the way with other dudes and other shit. You know, in fact, girls that feel that they appreciate that because most guys don't do that. They've never had that prior to a guy like you who knows to do that, right? So they'll defend you to the fucking bone. They'll be jumping in when guys come up to them and saying, can you just leave us alone? You know, so it's a different way of doing it, but it works. Let's see here. Hey, Colgate, I'm going back to college. Do you have any advice for me? Yeah, quit. No, I'm kidding. Um, well done. Uh, 
depends on what you mean. Uh, what kind of advice I have for a college kid. Um, get as much practice as you can with the sets that are around you because they're college girls as much as they like to think that they're mature as well as guys they're not and they're still working things out so there's a little bit of a social abnormality that comes from that but you can get practice from it nonetheless all right just a couple more questions and then i'm gonna get off of here because i'm tired i've been i've been moving around all day so let's see here i have too much theory compared to practice i'm starting to go in field are there my milestones to aim for uh yes send me a dm i will tell you what those milestones are what you should keep in mind um mostly it's just practicing material and getting good at delivery and going for an, a, a good amount of sets in the night so i'll give you specifics on um dm 10 percent battery on here so we're, we're we're winding off anyways let's see here my text game is whack when i get the numbers yeah it's another skill to learn for sure Good point, Colgate. For the number of partnership tests, enough to enjoy your company. I've used it. Okay, okay. That's not a bad answer. Enough to enjoy your company. Yeah, just don't come off too bravado. Don't come off too playerish. You know, like oh, I had. You know, it's it's a balance between having the answer ready but not appearing like you do. I think that's it. There, there's some other questions on here. Dude's using. It's like fucking da -da -da, sound bite. Yep, dudes are using the material. It's working. You're not alone. Thank you very much, sir. Awesome. That's it, guys. Let's wrap this up. This one's a quick one just because I am fucking, as the Brits would say, knackered. And I'm going to get my head down and get some sleep because I need to start getting the energy ready for the uh, boot camp residential that is happening this weekend here in London. So if you guys have any additional questions, you know where to reach me. Tune in next week um, on time. I imagine that the postponing of the stuff won't happen regularly, but especially on a boot camp week, if I need the extra time, I have to do right by the guy that is flying all the way here to come meet with me so that we can work and get my energy levels up. I've been out. I've been to a modeling agency today. I've been walking around, so things have been hectic. So yeah, let's let's end it here. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you guys like this. If it helps your fellow wing, tag him in the comments. If you think that um, the people that follow you will appreciate it, make sure you share it. And if you guys can, for me, I see a few likes popping off. Keep hitting those likes, man. You, you don't acknowledge on your end. But to me, because this isn't something that guys promote heavily to their friends that they're doing or that they're learning from, any bit of engagement, any bit of likes, any bit of sharing, any bit of comments will make the hugest difference for me to get in other people's faces to affect their lives and to help them out as well. So it doesn't go overlooked on my part. That's why I'm doing this giveaway, trying to give guys a chance to do it. I see them firing off, so I appreciate it. You guys have been awesome as always. Tune in next week, um, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will give you guys the lowdown of what went down on the boot camp over the weekend should be a fun one london always presents different situations so let's get out of the house let's get out and game and let's game perfect instead of just getting our feet wet all right as always take care